Hey guys, I'm Prithviraj and you're watching the R75K. So in this video, we'll be talking about chroma key. That is how you can edit green screen videos. So it's quite simple to be honest. But if you want to know how you can shoot green screen videos, then it's quite a lengthy process and you have to keep certain things in mind like the lighting and also if you want to know how you can actually shoot great green screen videos, just hit me in the comments down below and I might make a video on how you can actually shoot great green screen videos. So this video is all about editing and i hope you will find this helpful so if you do then please hit the subscribe button it will help me a lot and you can also follow me on instagram for more such content like this and other behind the scenes if you're using a green screen video you download it from the internet then i guess you're good to go if not like i said you have to keep certain things in mind so if you want i'll make a video i'm repeating myself i know anyway so i downloaded this random video I don't know why my phone got stuck. So I'll leave the link of this video as well if you want to download this exact same video. So I like this segment of this ship sinking. So I'll just take this part and take it on my timeline. So I think it ends over here. All right, so I have that video. And for the background, I found this kind of nebula kind of video. I'll leave the link as well for this. Uh, it's not playing, okay, done. So I found this video and I find that it can be made into a psychedelic kind of video if I do it this way. So I quite liked it. And I'll just place the green screen video above this one, the nebula video. And to get the green screen effect, just go to the effects section of your Premiere Pro and search for this thing called Ultra Key. Simply drag and drop this on your green screen video and over here just go to your FX controls and select that video of course and there will be an option called key color simply click on that eyedropper tool and select the green screen so it can be green blue or anything just it shouldn't be the same thing as the subject else it will remove that part as well so that's one thing you keep want to keep in mind that you, no one should be wearing a green t-shirt or something like that so simple and that's it basically we are done but many a times what happens is that uh, the green screen is not perfect so you can change this option to aggressive so that it will reduce those noise kind of thing in case there are any so you can do that or you can even uh, kind of manually adjust the transparency the shadows and etc so uh, for this footage I don't really uh, need to do it because it was a downloaded green screen so it was almost perfect so this is how it looks this kind of looks a lot like trippy so i want to give this a uh, trippy kind of retro look to it so i'll just simply color grade it you can skip this part this video is basically done so yeah you know so i'll just try to make it a little bit like retro-ish maybe i don't know what you call the exact thing uh, but let's try i'll have some LUTs, i guess i had created this lot few months back so i'll use this haven't tried this lot much so if you want to know how to color grade then i have a video on that so you can click the i button somewhere here i guess so or also you can just check out the description i'll leave a link of that so you can check that video on how to color grade and how to use LUTs and other stuff so yeah this kind of already blended the video kind of but i will try to tweak it a little more so that it fits more because it's kind of more harsh so i'll just decrease the intensity a bit As you can see, this is the before after, so it kind of blends a little more and I kind of get that retro look I'm looking for. So one more thing that can be done is that you can give it a VHS kind of effect. I think I had a stock footage of that. So hold on a sec, I need to find that actually. All right, so I had this uh, VHS tape kind of overlay, so I'll just use that. It will give that retro -ish feel more. Uh, so for this kind of footage you can just uh, I think I made a mistake over here yeah so I'll just have to rescale it a bit or maybe just adjust my workspace accordingly yeah that's better and just simply change the blend mode to screen or linear dodge anything works so this will kind of give that more retro kind of look so yeah that's basically it this is a simple way and you can do this for any kind of footages so 
if i have to use something else from this clip only so let me try it will look weird though i know or maybe it will give some weird effect all right so let's try it again this time so let's just uh, move the color grid thing and this one and select ultra key again drag drop and go to fx controls uh, sorry about that go to fx controls and simply the eyedropper again select the green color and this smile is not perfect so this is aggressive change it here well this kind of looks creepy but you get my point and how easy it is to actually edit green screen videos so i hope you found this video helpful then if you did then please hit the like button it helps me a lot and for more such videos like this so subscribe to my channel so that you get to know when i upload a new video and if you want me to make a video on a certain topic then just uh, leave a comment down below and i'll try to make that as well so yeah i'm trying to be more active now and i'll catch you in the next one till then hasta la vista